and say, okay, God, I'm ready now. Just, you know, lay it on me. I'll take all of that. I'll know the scriptures by heart. I'll be enlightened. I'll be able to, even one time, as you remember, Zosima saw her and she was praying. She was lifting up above the ground. This, brothers and sisters, is not unattainable for us. But it must be through struggle. <coughs> St. John, on the other hand, not that he didn't struggle, but there's a very beautiful piece of his Ladder of Divine Ascent, which I often quote to people when they come to confession. It says, a father saw, and it means a monastic father, saw the demon sitting on his windowsill and just kind of looking at him. And he started to upbraid the demon and say, what are you doing? You're so lazy. You're supposed to be, you know, tempting me. He said, you're doing my job for me. I have nothing to do here but observe. The opposite is also true. If we struggle for our salvation, if we try to draw near to God, sometimes there is resistance. The demon gets off the windowsill. He starts to work against us, and sometimes he calls a few friends over to join the party. But we need to have that struggle. A very defining, important characteristic of Orthodox Christianity is our struggle. We do not sit on the couch waiting for God to send down angels to enlighten us and send us, you know, food and, and bring us up to the heavenly kingdom while we watch TV and, you know, watch movies. We need to struggle in our faith, brothers and sisters. And both of these saints are shown to be an example of struggle for us. We'll talk more about St. Mary next week, but I think that it's important for us to reflect on both of these paths. Even being completely illiterate, she was fully enlightened. How many of us are fully literate, but lacking in enlightenment? Me first. We need to go the other way. It doesn't mean we go to the desert. It doesn't mean everybody, you know, everybody goes to the monastery tomorrow. I mean, that wouldn't be the worst thing, but it, it's not going to happen, so there's no reason for us to really reflect on that. But can we in some small way struggle for our salvation? And when we talk about, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief, what a good idea it would be to perhaps read a spiritual book, especially during this Lent in time. It could be the letter of divine ascent. It could be something else. The point is, we need to occupy ourselves in a spiritual pursuit. Lots of times I'll say, it's great Lent, turn off the TV. Okay, TV is the dominant medium of our age, right? In 14th century, you know, whatever, Kiev and Rus, or Russia, whatever it was at that time, they, they weren't saying, turn off the TV. There was no TV. What were they saying? Put away the secular books. Read something spiritual. Come to church more often. Come to confession more often. Come to communion more often. So whether it's television, or whether it's, you know, just secular books, or whether it's the next step where, you know, Google just beams everything right into our brain. Whatever it is, sometimes we need to turn it off and pursue that radical, old-fashioned concept of reading a spiritual book, especially, brothers and sisters, during this great Lenten time. So let's, brothers and sisters, decide that today is not just a day kind of stuck after the Sunday of the Cross and before the Sunday of St. Mary of Egypt. But let's decide that today is a day when we're going to look at those saints that are being held up for our, our emulation, and we're going to try to emulate them in some small way. Can we increase our great Lenten struggle? Can we try a little bit harder, especially in this time of the kind of doldrums of the fast, after the cross, before we get to Palm Sunday? This is understandably a difficult time, but if we make an effort, our life will be just like that life of the prodigal son when he returned home. As soon as he went over the crest of the hill, his loving father ran out to meet him. The same will be true of us, brothers and sisters. As soon as we begin our struggle, <coughs> the loving Lord will reach down his hand and help us to struggle even more, to draw nearer to him for our salvation. And may the Lord grant this to all of us. Amen.